The following experiment is extremely dangerous and should never be attempted by anyone under any circumstances whatsoever. No matter how safe you think you're being, please do not attempt this experiment yourself. Hello and welcome to Microwave Me. Today I'm going to be doing sparkling cider as the last of my guess you could call it fall slash Halloween series which might seem like a weird item because I already did champagne but it was requested and I decided I'm going to do a much smaller bottle because I want to keep Sarah alive and I don't want it to be a total duplicate of the champagne as cool as that was and here's Sarah and believe it or not this is the fourth take I've already blown through three of these and they just leaked and fizzed but this time, I'm reinforcing the top. Plenty of time to blow up. Hope 15 minutes is enough thing. One. You probably couldn't tell from the explosion itself, which didn't look that bad, but it actually did mess up Sarah a little bit. And she won't start anymore, so I guess you could say she's a dead microwave now.
Now, as to whether or not you should do this at home, absolutely not. Didn't you just see what happened? This is a really bad idea. In fact, the only reason it's not a deadly idea is because there was no fire and the door stayed on the microwave. Blew the door open pretty damn good. And if you're even thinking of trying this at home, all I can say is, what the hell is wrong with you? This is not safe to try at home. I mean, it isn't deadly, but it is deadly for your microwave. However, based on what I've been told, this microwave can be rebuilt or fixed, but still, not the best idea. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.